So this was started just how has it been just um, you know, getting your hands on your, on your guys and the roster and everything. <laughs> you know, I, I would start by saying this, that I'm extremely ecstatic to be here. Uh, unbelievable program, unbelievable leadership. Uh, just, they like said, thrilled, thrilled to be a part of it. It's, it's been an uh, interesting week. You know, it's been, uh, it's been uh, put to the fire right away very quickly. And uh, it, again, you know, number one, the players. It's, it's about the players and having them be comfortable and teaching and coaching and nurturing and mentoring. That's what coaching is. It, it's developing and it's mentoring. So that's the, that's the number one priority. Getting with the players, start building those relationships, make them again feel comfortable so that they can then think about football, focus on football, you know, kind of revolving door right now. So it, it, it's been um, it's been a good week, though. Great, great people to work with. And from a teaching standpoint, how do you tackle the fact that you know you're in the middle of, of spring camp towards the end? And like, how, how do you like the time that you have to put your stamp in spring camp is short? Absolutely, um, I think it, it. What I believe in, you know, and and what's great again, I talked about the leadership factor. Coach Hank is is him and I are very in line with our thought process uh, how you play championship defense and that is by being physical and sprinting to the football and and that's already been ingrained this spring guys have done a great job of running to the football and 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 building that physical identity every day um again i just try to be me i just try to be myself try to be authentic um again it, it, it relationships it's a it starts with respect and you have to have each other's back in this process you know on the field all 11 guys have to do their job it's the same way as a coach to player you have to make sure that they trust you so how does that start mutual respect talking communicating being open that's how you build that what have the last couple of weeks been like it's just been crazy it, it, it's there. been really interesting you know it, it, it's not only learning the scheme per se, but now you're learning new names. You're learning a new uh, schedule. You're learning where to go, where to park your car, where are you gonna sleep at night? You know, my wife is on me about making sure I sign up for benefits because that's the last thing on my mind right now, but I have a family, so that's gotta be the first thing on my mind also. Um, so there's all kinds of things, but it's, it's a part of being a football coach. It, it is, it's, it comes with the business. There's the, the ebb and flows of, of those things um, always you know I talked about the players as, as a coach you know having your family you want to make sure that your family feels comfortable your family's in a good mindset they're happy and that takes making sure that you follow up like hey we're gonna live we're gonna go to school you know there's kids on the staff that are the same age as my sons I have a 14 year old Tommy and a 12 year old Jack and and uh, Coach Hank's kids are the same age. He's got two sons that are also 14 and 12. So they're excited about that. So that's always the top priority, along with the relationships building with the players. They play football. I know Coach Hank's kids uh, play. Mine my, my, my do, my <laughs> do play football. They, they play hockey in the, uh, in the wintertime, and they're in travel baseball right now. I don't know about how the hockey is going to work now and being in Memphis, but uh, we'll uh, – We'll, we'll, we'll go another path again. You know, like they always say, the great ones adjust. So we're going we're gonna to adjust and make the best out of it always. Now you're joining a, a program that has a lot of steam after the 10 and 3 season last year. So just looking at a lot of the positive momentum that, that's in the spring that even makes you, just how excited are you to kind of be a part of that? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, I, again, I, I've been a defensive coordinator since 2013. But being a, a football coach, being an assistant football coach, this is, count on me, do your job, do your role to the very best. So I'm really excited about working with this defensive staff, very, very talented gentlemen. Being a part of it is, is an unbelievable opportunity. So um, I'm doing whatever I have to do. Like I said, it's, it's, it's trial by air right now, you know, coming out here on Tuesday and not even know really which field, where I'm at on the field, and I'm down in the corner on the turf, and next thing I know, 
you know, Coach White, they're punting into us and stuff like that. So I, I was in the wrong place. And, and just, you know, things like that, knowing where to go and, and understanding um, the little things that come with it. So um, every day learning more, every day uh, doing a better job, <laughs> the adjustments here. So uh, it's been great. Like I said, though, every winning program, it's always about the people. And this, this place is, from the top down, is, is um, amazing, amazing with people. So um, very, very fortunate and very happy to be a part of that. Obviously, like you, you just mentioned, you left a coordinator job for this. What is it about this place and this program and the people that you need that? I, I think when you look at, you know, I don't know, there's 130, I think, you know, Division One FBS teams in the country, somewhere in that, 130, whatever it is. And then they talk about, you know, power four now and, you know, group of five. This, this is an elite program. This is, you, you see what we have here from the city, the university to uh, facilities. It's off the charts. And this is a big time program. So when I, when I was able to get this opportunity, I jumped at it. There was, we played, when I was at Ohio uh, University the last two seasons, we, we, we had a very good year. We won 20 games in two years um, and, and had a lot of success. But when you get opportunities, you have to take hold of them. And there were some things, quite honestly, that were available earlier, obviously more opportunistic timeline, uh, but it, it just wasn't right. It wasn't the right fit for myself. It wasn't right for my family. And it just wasn't the right time. And, and it, it's kind of amazing how things happen. So when this, this came about, um, I wasn't going to let this go by. And again, it was not the most opportunistic timeline for myself or the players on the team. You know, the, the change affects a whole lot of people. So, um, again, you know, talking with Coach Silverfield, talk, talking to Coach Hankins, it, it, was, it was in a lot of ways a no-brainer. And there's been a lot of times I can say that in my career where, you, you know, you always think this or that, like, oh, I don't know. This one, this one, we were, my, I looked at my wife and she goes, I think it's a slam dunk. And that's the first time she ever said that to me. And I felt, this, I felt the same way. I said the same way to her. So um, we were just, we're just very, uh, very pleased to be here and be in this, having this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.